Since the beginning of cinema and the creation of video games, comics, books, manga, anime, you name it, demons have been present. Why? Because we all have a fascination and fear of forces beyond our control, forces that have the ability to possess the most innocent people and sometimes even dolls. So today on Top 5 Scary Videos we're going to be counting down some of the scariest demonic icons that have made themselves known in pop culture history with our list of the top 5 demons from pop culture. Let's jump in. In at 5, The Clown from Poltergeist Toby Hooper's iconic horror masterpiece Poltergeist was released back in 1982 and produced and co-written by Steven Spielberg. Many parents thought this film was perfectly fine for their children to see, considering Spielberg was the man behind the lovable character of E.T. The film, however, was traumatising to say the least. A young girl gets pulled into her TV by a poltergeist and what ensues are ghosts, skeletons, a giant carnivorous tree and a guy pulling off his own face. It's pretty damn horrific. But the worst of the worst has to be the demonic clown that tries to strangle poor Robbie in his bed. The scene was absolutely terrifying and haunted many young viewers for decades to come. Can safely say the first time I saw that creepy gloved hand wrap around the face of Robbie, I was scarred for life. In at 4, The Devil from The Exorcist Now, we can't possibly have a list on demons in pop culture without including arguably the most famous demon in cinematic history. Satan himself. Well, technically an ancient African demon named Pazuzu, but let's go with Satan. We all know the story. 12 year old girl plays with a Ouija board, 12 year old girl becomes possessed, 12 year old girl stabs herself in the vagina with a crucifix. It's a tale as old as time. The film is terrifying, and in my eyes it's still the most frightening film of all time. Why? Because of the goddamn demon who makes Reagan, the 12 year old girl, commit the most crude and heinous acts. Not only that, but the film and book are both based on true events. No thank you. In at number 3, The Engineer from Hellraiser First things first, The Engineer is just sickening to look at. I mean just take a look. But to backtrack, Hellraiser was released back in 1987 and directed by Clive Barker. It centers on a sexual deviant Frank who accidentally opens a portal to hell, thus allowing demons to cross over into the living realm and tear apart humans. Quite literally. One such demon who is nameless in the film but in the screenplay is called The Engineer is arguably the most frightening of them all, in my opinion anyway. In one particular scene, Christy is playing with the magical puzzle box in the hospital room, eventually solving it. Before her, the wall opens. She walks through and down a long darkened corridor. She then sees a figure in the distance. It is living and hanging upside down from the ceiling before lunging towards her. The scene is horrifying and emotionally damaging. Take a look. <laughs> In at 2, Anya Jenkins from Buffy the Vampire Slayer Anya is typically thought of as comedic relief when it comes to Buffy the Vampire Slayer, one of the reasons why the demon turned human made a great love interest for Xander. So, Anya used to be a vengeance demon who appeared earlier on in the series as a demon that Cordelia accidentally summoned when wanting to get revenge on Xander due to some disgruntled romantic circumstances. Anya would prove to be a fan favourite and was brought back as part of the main cast, struggling to learn how to fit in after her demon abilities were stripped from her, making her mortal. Becoming part of the Scooby gang, Anya's knowledge of demons and their doings came in handy on multiple occasions, and her long term romance with one of Buffy's best pals Xander really made for some of the show funnier moments. It could be witches, some evil witches, which is ridiculous cause witches they were persecuted, wicked good and love the earth and women power and I'll be over here. I've got a theory, it could be bunnies. And lastly in at number one, Dante from Devil May Cry. Okay. This is technically cheating because Dante is actually only half demon, but still, fans hail him as a demon and one of the best at that, so that is why he is on our list. Dante is a fictional character from the Devil May Cry franchise, created by Capcom, the geniuses that brought us Resident Evil. In the first four games, he is a mercenary, PI, and demon hunting vigilante, exterminating supernatural foes. He is the son of the demon Sparta and the human Ava, the latter being killed, which sends Dante on a mission to find those responsible. What makes him so great? great is that, yes he is a demon, but his purpose in life is to hunt other demons and malevolent forces who are committing evil acts. 
What a guy. Well, there we have it. Are you a fan of these demons? Were there any that we missed? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below and perhaps we can do a part two. If you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss another scary vid. And until next time, see you later.